A very useful tool to help us understand what Arduino is doing is the serial monitor, where we can print whatever we want and help us find the source of a problem. In this simple example, we have a button on pin 2, and we print the state of the button in the serial monitor. One thing to remember is that to enable the serial communication, we need to include this line in the setup. This number is the bout rate, that is basically the speed of the data. You can choose whatever value, but you will have to select the same bout rate in the serial monitor. The most common is the 9600, so that's the one we'll use in this example. This is the way to print text and values. When we add the letters LN, it means that it's going to add a new line afterwards. If you don't do that, it's going to print everything in the same line, making it harder to read. That's why I recommend printing all the relevant information you want and then creating a new line so in the next loop it prints everything in the next line. Usually we enable the auto scrolling, but sometimes it's useful to stop it to check the data in detail. Also, enabling the timestamp will let us know exactly when the line was printed. Very useful in some situations. It's a good idea to print text before each value so you know what the value is. In this example, we print the text button and then print the value of that button. That in this case is stored in the variable button state 1. Something interesting about variables is that we can modify them in any way we want. In this other example, this line will take the value of the variable 1 and increase the value by 1. So each time the loop executes this line, it is going to increase the value of the variable. Here's where the serial monitor can help us see what's going on. I use variables all the time for creating delays or to change values gradually. And when we want to reset the variable when it reaches a specific value, we can use an if statement, like if the variable is equal to 100, set that variable to 0. We can also visualize those values as a graphic in here. But I personally don't find it as useful as a traditional serial monitor for most cases. I suggest experimenting with different combinations and printing stuff in the serial monitor so you can get more familiar with all this, before moving on with the next video that is going to be about analog inputs. If you ever need to have a custom PCB for your projects, either your own design or from one downloaded from someone else, you can upload the Gerber files to PCBWay.com and they can manufacture it starting at $5 plus shipping. That makes it easier than using a generic prototype board. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next video. Bye bye.